Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video, the video game series in which we look at a recently released game and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at Drill Deal Oil Tycoon which is a city builder with a difference. It's got this really cool sort of Lego pixel style graphics setting and you have to micromanage like nobody has ever micromanaged before. The game is very very brutal and will rip you a new one even if you've played and watched all of the tutorial. As always we will go through the settings first and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay to show you what's available, what you can do and just how punishing the game really can be. So without any further ado let's jump into it. So settings, there's nothing really amazing or outstanding here. There's nothing that I wouldn't expect to see, especially from a very low graphically intensive game. You've got your resolution, screen mode, graphics quality, and that's really about it. You've got your shadows, V-Sync, language, auto save daily, which is really nice to have on, and then your music volumes. It's all here. There really isn't a lot to discuss. The game itself isn't very large. It was something like a few hundred megabytes it really wasn't very big at all and yet they've done really well at making it look good and run good it would be nice obviously to see a few more settings as i always say but honestly with the type of game this is i'm not really upset you know i'm, I'm not too i'm not too bothered by the fact that there isn't really a huge amount here Interestingly, I've just noticed whilst looking at this that the resolution is set to 1920x1080 at 50 hertz, which is a bit odd. I don't quite know why they've done that, but VSync should override that anyway. Let's look at what the game's like, shall we? All right, here we are. So the way that the game works is you've got different oil areas, different drill areas that you've got to sort of do mission-based things in order to complete it and move on to the next one. The idea is that the more stuff you put on your your oil plant, if you like, the more things you will receive and the more reputation you get. The more reputation you've got, the more money you get paid. Everything needs to be micromanaged, and I mean that 100% from the amount of workers you get on um, each item, the amount of money that they will produce as a result, um, as you can see, we're at fully max. You can see all your employment status here, so you can move them about if you want to move them from, say, the workshop to here or the basic refinery or whatever. You've got their mood, their salary, their conditions. You've got all of it that you need to know on this screen, and you can access this screen just by going to your employee section or by looking at any of the job openings that are available that you need to fill. You have your basic requirements that are needed to keep your employees happy, i.e. something to eat, somewhere to sleep, and somewhere to keep them entertained. You've got to be careful though because noise does play a part, and again, you are working on a very, very small platform with not a lot of room to really do anything. The way that it works is you've got contracts, you can buy new contracts, you can go in and sort your contracts and take some quick contracts if you so desire. We're going to do that one real quick because it's a quick deal. And you've got your resources here that you can sell in order to get money and um, items that you would need for the more advanced items that you need to buy. Namely, things like your chemical plant and stuff down here. Certain things will show you what you need. You need money bo mon building blocks, money and lubricants. Um, for a lot of these things the building blocks from the way that i can see is the only way you can do it is by ordering them in so you can order your sort of main resources that you need to keep your people happy in and then you've got storage containers that you can add in order to make them last a bit longer your power consumption is going to be a big problem early on until you go into your tech tree now the problem is that the tutorial shows you how each of this works which is fine but it doesn't show how brutal it is. When you go into a new game, your technology tree is completely empty, which means you can't do anything on it. Um, your maintenance tree is completely empty. Your employee care is completely empty. Your employees themselves are not ideal either. So you're, you're starting from a very, very basic standpoint. And that's part of what makes it really brutal. Because if you don't get it right, if you don't get the right amount of sleeping arrangements to get the right amount of employees, if you don't get the right amount of power then your employees will just get very, very unhappy and bugger off. And 
one of the important things you need to do one of the first things that i would do in your tech tree is go to employee care and unlock the basic sim cinema it's fairly cheap it's fairly quick but you're going to need it if you don't do that you you will just lose you you will lose your employees very very quickly um because they're not going to be happy they're going to leave so on this map i've got a number of objections and one of them is to get a turret in order to take these guys out to get my turret i need to be on the right tab and i need to get this i need 50 building blocks and 100 lubricants i'm currently at 28 building blocks so i'm gonna have to order some in and only 48 lubricants now you can speed it up but obviously if you speed it up then you can be in trouble but you need this defensive turret in order to complete this mission because you've got to take these these little mines out here you also get pirates that come and attack you which is why you need this defensive turret i don't know it seems like it's just thrown in there for an extra bit of difficulty because of course it is um and then you've got to sort of fit in storage units as well so you can fit more crude oil so you can make more money from your um contracts and stuff then you can go out on expeditions which can get you more um more things more items more more everything as well as leveling up your employees and stuff like that so it really is a lot to this game but it is really punishing um because like i say if you make one wrong move if you spend money that you really don't want to be spending if you don't get the items that you need then you are you, you're just not going to get very far and the tutorial really doesn't explain that which is a bit of a shame because it doesn't explain how much you're going to need to get the resources in because it gives you it all for those for the tutorial to show you how things work having said that though and having gone through all that i really like this game like i like the animation i like the way it looks we can probably do with getting rid of this and getting some more money we're going to get rid of one of these small gas generators to reduce the noise and because we upgraded in the tech tree to increase our power we've actually got enough power for that what this also means is that i can then go in and order some more building blocks we're going to keep an eye. So we got up to 1,600. So if we take 1,000, 104, that should keep us going for a while. And then once we've got the building blocks in, we can then... Um, we've just got to wait for the lubricants to come in from the chemical plant there. Then we can build the turret and we're away. But we've still got 497. So I'm going to go into the tech tree and I'm going to see if there's anything that I want to be buying or that I can buy. Uh generally i want to go for employees but i can't because i can't afford anything so you kind of you've there's a lot of waiting there's a lot of waiting around which is why you want to be using your um speed up realistically but i am very impressed it's very comprehensive it's very difficult it's very challenging which is what you want from these sorts of things and it looks really good and it plays really well um if you're up for a very very difficult city builder this is going to be for you this this genuinely is going to be the game for you because it's got everything and i'm really excited to see how much more this game can expand with more difficult missions and the more things that you can do as you go on so let me know in those comments down below if this is going to be a new city builder for you and thank you very much for watching guys i shall see you all next time